This really is the easiest draft I've ever done. Hello. What do we have here? Oh my word, I was right. That was an absolute guess. Then, we see it. Look up at the screen. The flight has been delayed. Not one hour, not two, not even 10 hours. Oh yeah? Oh, San Jose. Nice. How many times do I gotta tell you, Jabroni? Pick number 12. That's what I'm going for on this one. I feel like I guessed that last time as well, and I was pretty close, and I was also kind of close this time. So as this is the easiest draft ever, I'm just gonna be taking the top player every time. I just realized though, I should not have salary cap on. We've been getting a lot near the middle, but I'm gonna move us back to 16, and we can try it again. It looks like we're getting the same player anyway. So Sydney the Kidney, welcome. Our team's gonna be very old. Well, I mean, they're not old, but they're old in hockey terms, and that is it. I've seen people make videos like this, never really for NHL, so I kind of just thought I would give it a shot, see how it goes. So it's kind of gonna be all over the place, but hopefully it works out. This really is the easiest draft I've ever done, plain and simple. Even though I think I've done this draft before, so I guess it would be tied with the easiest draft I've ever done. Will we have forwards playing defense? Yup. Oh, kind of forgot goalies were a thing. That's on me. Well then. So as it turns out, this draft was not as easy as I thought it was. We are genuinely gonna get rinsed. This is gonna be awful. There it is. There's your top pick every time draft. Gotta send these guys down because we gotta play who we drafted. So our forwards are sick. We are absolutely stacked here. But then we take a peek and we've got a dash five <laughs> with Kaloran and Johansson. We did manage to get... Four defensemen, which is nice. Unfortunately, in the net, we have 83 overall Jonathan Quick, backed up by Jonathan Bernier, so we got the Jonathan squared pair here. I'm not really sure why this line has a dash two, but anyway, it's the head coach preferred lines, and we only have roll three lines, so I think these three right here are gonna be getting the most action. I mean, that makes sense anyway. The fourth line doesn't typically get a whole lot, but I guess with roll three lines, they probably get even less. 6-0-1 in the preseason, not a big deal or anything, but will we be able to carry that into the regular season? It looks like absolutely not. We're kind of bringing it back a little bit. This team may have potential to make the playoffs strictly based on our offense because that's all we really got for, <laughs> for our team. Well, you know what, we do have our top four defense is solid, so I shouldn't say that. Wow, we're actually unreal. Did not see that coming. I guess to be fair, we did take the highest overall player every single round. Here's your trade deadline. Flower, on the block. That is outrageous, I'm leaving. Let's go, Sharkies. We're almost at 50 wins. Not a half bad season. Second in the division, Calgary beat us out by one point. New Jersey 117 gets the precedence. There's their roster. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Flurry, that explains it. Chicago finished last. Here is their team. They have Slaff, Barkov, and Kuzmenko on their first line. So I think they're going to be good soon. Just not yet. Sydney the Kidney and Johnny Goods. 84 points apiece. Quick did very well. 918 and a 238. Six shutouts. Holy Jonathan. Latang had 46 points as a defenseman. We take that all day. Flurry had the most wins in the league. Did he get traded or was he on this team at the deadline? Yeah, no. Okay, he just didn't get moved. 76 points out of Adam Fox was a zero, though. Yikes. Only player to break 100 is Steven, and he hits 100 right on the head. Nobody got 50 goals this year, but the Rocket Richard is going to cooch. Round one against the mighty Ducks of Anaheim. We take that all day. Nope, never mind. Maybe we don't take that. Game seven? The boys pulled through. The conference semifinals against the Calgary Flames. That's an all right start. Yeah, come on. Game seven again, and they clutch it out once more. It's time for the conference finals against the Smashville Predators. Will we move on to the Stanley Cup final? It's looking like no, we will not. It's gonna be Montreal and Smashville. Your winner and new Stanley Cup champion, the Nashville Predators. 18 points out of Malkin, not bad. Look at the plus minus. So you know what? We did all right. Can't blame Quick. He did just fine. You see what I see. Found his way back to Smashville. And he did outstanding. Fox once again leading defenseman in the playoffs. And Hatra Kane gets the most points with 26. It might actually be you see what I see that gets the Conn Smythe. But Jesper Bratt gotta be up there. Here is the trophies for the easiest draft of all time. Did we win? Okay, so it was Jesper Bratt. And we came up entirely empty-handed. You hate to see it. Not one sweep was had in these playoffs. Game 7 in the Stanley Cup Finals. Great stuff. If only all drafts were this easy.
Ah, that wouldn't be too fun. It's always good to have a challenge every now and again. I honestly kind of forgot that I had all these, uh, but I do. So we're gonna use them. I have 14 of these bad boys. So what I'm gonna do is open two of them and put those players on a team. I've made seven teams that have the exact same free agents on it. And then I will just add those players. We'll put it through a season and see what happens. Or I guess franchise, because you can't do seven teams in a season mode. I don't think. I still have a incredibly difficult time opening these things. So the CZO are making an appearance. First card for this pack is going to be a Hatrick Kane. That's a pretty cool card as well. I like that one. Next up is going to be a Nate Mac. All right, this team is stacking up. They have their first line is going to be incredible. Uh, they might have a- no, there's no way. They're gonna get another forward, and there he- oh my word! Team 1 is gonna be outrageous, and they just got even more outrageous with an Ovechkin. Also amazing card. Will their entire defensive core be free agents though, and their goalie as well? Let's find out. Sam Reinhardt, so one more card. Yeah, they will have the default for every team. Defense and goalie. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about like opening a new pack of cards that just smells good I don't know what it is, but it exists Hello, what do we have here? I have never seen one of these that is the coolest card of all time actually ignore what I said This is the coolest card of all time easily the coolest hockey card I have and when he breaks Gretzky's record I'm just saying so team two starts off with a Pedersen they will be adding a Sean Couturier as well as a Petrangelo. So they're going to have a defenseman. Braden Holpe is the default goalie for all the teams. So... I got a prize card. I want a donut or something. Uh, but we also got this. What is going on? These packs are insane. McDavid is added to the squad. They also got Jack Campbell. So they're getting a goalie. And they got a Drake Batherson. So this team... Got a defenseman and a goalie, as well as some forwards. I wonder if this prize thing expires. Because I bought these packs a while ago. Let's see what Team 3 gets. Yeah, I don't know if you'll get a super big advantage by getting a goalie, but if you get someone like Vasilevsky, then definitely. Shifley, the first player for the third squad. We will also be adding a Cole Caulfield. I think I already have two or three of these. And also, a Jack Eichel. All forwards so far, will they follow the Team 1 trend? They get a Bradley. So that's pretty gas. Cool looking card as well. And then on top of that, we're going to get an Anthony Duclair. All right. So they probably are going to have all forwards, I would say. No, Adam Fox. Well then, team number four, this will put us over the halfway mark. I think that's a gold etching, maybe. But anyway, I remember <laughs> I got an Ovi one of these and I showed the back of the card the entire time. But anyway, uh, Rasmus. So they start off with a defenseman. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. They also get a goalie, Connor Hellebuck. You won't, won't want to get two goalies, though. I feel like that is not in your best interest. That's a very neat card. Team 4 already has a goalie. Let's see what we get in this pack right here. Is that a Jimmy Superstar? It sure is. What a sick card. I, why have I never seen any of these before? So they have Brady Kachuk and now Jimmy Superstar. They'll also be adding a Jason Robertson. Guy is absolutely nasty. So good at hockey. It's actually ridiculous. Also a Mark Shifley. That would really suck if a team got a duplicate. I just thought about that. All right, Squadron 5. I mentioned his name earlier, and apparently he appears. Andre Vasilevsky. Gonna start off Team 5. And then we will... Oh, that's unfortunate. That sucks for Team 5. They get two goalies, and they get EK65. So, so far, defensively, they are mint. I'll try to stay more centered in the face cam. I'm just realizing now that I'm probably not at all. Team 5 will be adding another one of these cool cards, and it's Sydney the Kidney. This is the best pack opening I've ever done. A Spectrum standout, Sydney the Kidney. The design on that is so sick. We also get a Clayton Keller and another Sydney. They got shafted. Hopefully Team 6 doesn't get finessed like that. They start off with a defenseman though, so that's good. Miro, they will not be having a full free agent. I don't even know if all those guys are still free agents, but they are in the game, so I'm going to say that they are. Miro will be added to the defensive core. They're adding a Kopitar, and they will also be adding a Jake Gensel. One defenseman, two defensemen, and two forwards. Another one of these, these cards are so awesome. I'm sorry, I'm probably going on, but I just can't get over how cool they look. And it's Quinn Hughes as well. We're also getting, oh, that's unfortunate for them. Anze and a Larkin. Will Team 7 be packing heat? Or will they take a seat. Let's find out with the last team, and they are starting off hot with a Nikolai Ehlers. 
That's a cool card. I think I have it. Next up will be a Gabriel Landis Cog. Hello, did I get wrecked? There was two cards in that pack. I've never seen that before. That's a new one. The final pack will be starting off with, I don't know, because it's caught on the edge. They get a Vasilevsky, so they're getting a very good goalie. And I'm assuming, one would say, um, that this is probably when they won the Stanley Cup. It also does say right here, as the Lightning win the title. So that checks out. Next up, we have a Clayton Keller, and last but not least, we have a Jack Hughes. So for the first team, we have an Ovechkin. We also have Sam Reinhart, Marchand, McKinnon, Kane, Panarin. So they only have forwards, but they're good. Team one has been assembled. Just based off the packs alone, who do you think's gonna win? I think team one's got a real shot. Team two has McDavid, Campbell, Batherson, Couturier, a Pedersen, and a Petrangelo. I wonder if Petrangelo's gonna get injured and miss the playoffs. Like our be a pro. These two teams are the exact same overall. This is the team that got double finessed because they got Crosby twice. And then they got two goalies. Custom league all the way down to seven teams. Probably turn the salary cap off. It makes sense. I'm only going to make them play 40 games. I put the wild card round on and that allows me to put six qualifying teams instead of four. I don't know how I can stop them from calling up players in the AHL. So that could be an issue. But I don't think that would affect anything too much. It's not like there's any... 90 overall players in the AHL, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter what team I control, so I'll just randomize it, and boom. There we go. We're St. John, which I think is the team that got finessed twice. All teams, except for the Tsunamis, are 85 overall. I want CPU trades off. Fantasy draft, obviously not. Actually, you know what? There might be a setting for turning off free agent signing? No, probably not. Okay, let's jump in. Yep, yeah, this is the double finesse team. They have Crosby and Keller. They had two Crosbys, technically, but- they can't do that. Eric Carlson on defense, and then Vasilevsky and Freddie Anderson. So you know what, though? No matter what goalie they have in, gonna be solid. But I feel like the other teams will probably just start the other goalie. Here's the offensively stacked team. That first line is just something else. Their second line has Panarin, Reinhardt, and Ovechkin. Defensively, nothing. And goaltenders, they've got Holpe. The Edmonton Express have Pedersen, McDavid, and Couturier, so a solid first line. Batherson to beef up that second line a little bit. Defensively, they have Petrangelo, so they have kind of like a quarterback there. And then Holpe and Net. The Narwhals have Robertson, Shifley, and Kachuk. Stutzla on the second line. Defensively, they got Rasmus Dahlin. And in Net, they got Hellebuck. Newfoundland has Marchand, Eichel, and Caulfield. Shifley as a second line center. Defensively, they did get Adam Fox, so again, sort of like a quarterback situation there, and they don't have a goalie. The Tsunamis also don't have a goalie. They're playing Chalgrin instead of Sparks, but that's really not that big of a deal. Even strength, Gensel, Larkin, and then they have Kopitar in the second line. Kind of surprised that they didn't just make it work on the first line, but hey, that's not my team. They actually have a defensive pair as well. Miro playing with Quinn. The Yukon Brawlers do not have any added defensemen. Offensively, they have Keller, Hughes, and Ehlers. They also got Landis Cog and Annette. They have Vasilevsky. I wonder if the Sim's gonna be really quick because of the fact that, oh, I don't recall sending you an offer, but okay. Seems like the Wild are doing pretty well. Oh, never mind. The Wild and the Bulls fighting for first. No one can trade, but I'm just curious to see who's available, and it's all free agents, other than our team, apparently. Somehow we're second in the league right now, but it is very close. Like, this race is anybody's. Okay, St. John made it into the playoffs. Second in the league. Look how close this entire block is. Other than the Yukon Brawlers, they sucked. And the Tsunamis take the President's Trophy. I guess that defensive pair might be a big deal. 49 points in 40 games from Sydney the Kidney. Great stuff. Vasilevsky from our squad actually had the most wins. A 907 save percentage as well. And, okay, we have a really good one down here. 938 from Chalgren. So maybe it isn't fair. <laughs> I guess we're simming past the wild card stage here. And we should very soon have a opponent. We do. We're going up against the Narwhals. Let's simulate the entire series and see what happens here. Great start. Oh, no. Nice. We have... So, yeah, basically the, the top two teams in the league are also in the finals. Can we take down Saskatchewan, though? Or will they win the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup? Nice. Oh my word, we made that easy. This is the team that got double finessed and 
Turns out, they played the Uno reverse card and did the finessing. Maybe that's why the card was missing in the pack. It's because it was an Uno card. Oh, actually, hold that thought. That wasn't this team. Never mind. Vazzy did quite well with a 9-10 save percentage, leading once again Quinn Hughes 13 points in 11 games. Is that any good? And the likely Con Smythe winner, Sydney the Kidney. 19 points in 11 games. Stanley Cup champions, not a big deal. President's Trophy goes to Saskatchewan, and I will just sort of fly through these. I love how it like takes a second to load the logo. But anyway, there you go. Your playoff tree, if anybody cared. NHL Arena GeoGuessr rematch. Last time I got 11. Let's see if we can up that. I have five minutes. Oh, oh no, this is the same one that I got last time. Where was it though? I feel like it was New Jersey. I'm just gonna guess New Jersey and hope for the best. I don't know where in New Jersey they play though. Sure, why not? It was Detroit, I was horrendously wrong. This just looks like an office building. Like what's going on here? Oh, okay, I know where this one is. Down here, Arizona, Phoenix, boom. There you go, easy peasy. They literally could not have made this any easier, but I don't know where Missouri is. So that's a bit of an issue. There it is, okay. I knew it was kind of central. St. Louis, it's gotta be there. Nice, 2.4 kilometers, you know, not bad. We've had this one. This is Dallas, give me that. This one I did remember correct. Oh no, I don't know what the Honda, who plays at the Honda Center? Is there any other hints? Oh dear, oh dear me. I don't think there's any other hints. And I don't even know what to guess for this one. For some reason, I, I'm i going to Anaheim, but that doesn't seem right. I'll just guess it, though. Hope for the best. San Jose, where is Anaheim? I think it's more north, or am I wrong? Oh, wow, I'm falling apart. San Diego? Let's Okay, there's Anaheim. Let's just try it on for size. Oh, my word, I was right. That was an absolute guess. Play again. Get me in there. Okay, well, it's not going to be fun if you just keep giving me the same ones. Dallas, boom. I'll, <laughs> if you give me the Detroit one again... I'll probably get that wrong. Missouri, St. Louis, easy peasy. Can we get a new one, please? Thank you. I know this one. This is Pennsylvania over here, and this is Pittsburgh. There's Philadelphia. Pittsburgh's over here more. Guess 8.1. We take that. Scotiabank Arena, so Toronto. I see the S, so I'm just assuming. And boom, there you have it. 1.7 kilometers. I'm absolutely killing it this time, by the way. All right, I got to see who the... Oh, Capital One Arena. All right, say less. They are in, where's Washington? Oh, there it is, okay. Uh, boom, select that. How much time, we have like half the time left and I have already a million answers. Okay, this one seems new. What is this one? Anything in the, okay, never mind. This is not new, I remember this. This is the, it is Los Angeles, right? I'm just gonna assume it is because it reminds me of one in the last video. Yes, 12 kilometers, not the end of the world. Okay, Islanders, couldn't have made that any easier. Uh, it's not as easy as the St. Louis one, but it's still quite easy. Where do they play, though? Crap, I don't know where they play. So, do they play in Long Island? I don't think they do. No. I don't know. I'm gonna guess here anyway. 35 kilometers, so I was actually pretty far off on that one. But anyway, XL, that's Minnesota, I think? Where's Minnesota again? Oh, no. I don't know where Minnesota is. Minneapolis, where are you? Oh, there, okay. Do they play in St. Paul? I think they do, right? Nice. We take that. This is once again Toronto. I just keep getting the same ones over and over again. We have a minute to go. And I'm literally killing this. Columbus, say less. Ohio, Cleveland. Where is Columbus? Hello? There's Erie. There it is. It's down here. Just a little bit more south. I don't know what this one is. Okay. We got to work our way around here. Come on. Move faster. Load. I went the wrong way, didn't I? There's like nothing here. I also accidentally highlighted this. We're getting to something here, but what is the question? That doesn't help. I'm lost. I have no idea. Oh, Key Bank. Who plays at the Key Bank? Buffalo. It is Buffalo, right? I'm pretty sure. Boom. Let's try it out. Guess. Nice. 3.3 kilometers. We have nine seconds left. New Jersey. Ah, so I should have had this one before. Where are you? Boom. Did I get it? I was way off. Boy, do I have a story for you. So I was taking the finance, or otherwise universally known as fiance, to... What was that? Anyway, we're going to Newfoundland. I'm getting destroyed. So the flight was pretty early. Booked a specific flight because the other ones left at night and, you know, we wanted to get there at a decent time, the time difference, etc. So basically we had to get up at 2.30 a.m. to get to the airport for 4.30 a.m. because our flight was at 6.30. And... 
We sure did that. I signed up for flight alerts and everything, by the way. So we get there. I use the parking QR code that they give you. That's just how they do it now, I guess. And it only works one time, so preface this for later. So we do everything. We take the whatever you want to call it. To oh, <laughs> where was I? Find our way over to the airport and then we see it. Look up at the screen. The flight has been delayed. Not one hour, not two, not even 10 hours, by 12 hours. So here we are at the airport and just found out that our flight is delayed half of a day. One cool thing, however, is that WWE was in Toronto the night before. So by leaving at this time, I just so happened to run into Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io at the airport. It, it was early, so I didn't ask for a picture or anything. I just kind of said, hey, and, you know, let them be on their merry way. But, you know, that wouldn't have happened if we didn't get to the airport by then. Still, a flight alert would have been nice, so I didn't have to wake up at 2.30, drive for an hour, just to find out, yeah, your flight won't be for 12 more hours. 12. I'm gonna reiterate that. I don't know if you've seen the video where I talked about my trip to New York, but that was also a nightmare, so clearly I am just a magnet for trips to go south, and this is another prime example. So we get a food voucher, I think it was like $25 each, but basically said, no, we're going home because I'm not sitting in the airport for 12 hours. I'm gonna go get some more sleep, and I can't save a beach ball right now. You know when the Be A Pro guy comes in, the coach, and he's like, what are you doing out there? I need that pep talk right now. So also, when we leave, obviously this is when we found out that the QR code is only good for one-time use, because I tried to go back in to test it, and sure enough, it did not work. So we had to call some number and have them put a note on our file so that when we come back to use it again, they would let us in. It's also worth noting that because we went early, just so happened to be behind a truck at some point on the highway that shot rocks, and one of them went up <laughs> under the hood and broke our condenser. So the AC in the car no longer works. Still got to get that replaced, but it's been winter, so kind of put it off for the time being. Don't need it at this exact moment, you know what I'm saying? And just to add to the fun of it all, uh, because of all the chaos, I guess, kind of got distracted, but we ended up on our way home, about halfway home, getting a call from some random number. We're even going to answer, because I thought it was going to be, obviously, just some telemarketing thing, whatever. Ah, uh, no. We left our passports at the airport. So once again, had to pull a TSN turning point. Turn around, go get the passports. Uh, eventually we did finally make it home, believe it or not. And then fell back asleep, ended up going back to the airport, which I'm actually impressed I was able to fall back asleep. Normally I can never do that. Naps, not my thing. If it's daytime, I'm not falling asleep. It's plain and simple, not happening. So we went back to the airport later and thank- Not a fan of that one. Thankfully, uh, the flight wasn't fully cancelled, but it was delayed another, I think, hour and a half or two hours. So, it was- I think at the end of the day, like a 14 hour flight delay, and we ended up getting to Newfoundland. We were supposed to be there at lunchtime. We ended up getting there, what time was it? I think it was like close to midnight. And thankfully Enterprise was still open, so we still got the car. Weren't trapped at the airport or had to take an Uber to our hotel and then get one back to the airport in order to get the car the next day. But yeah, other than that, Newfoundland was sick. And I think I'm never taking a trip ever again in my life because every time I try to do that, you know, just have a good old time, it just goes sour. So I think I'm scarred and from now on I'm staying in my house permanently. I'm literally never leaving again.